Besides the Amazon region, another globally important ecoregion exists, the Orinoco watershed. It is considered the last agriculture frontier in Colombia, where large development projects are expected, leading to big land use changes. The Cusiana River is a part of this watershed. The Cusiana watershed has four distinct ecosystems. The first two are mainly natural. In the third one, a considerable area has been replaced by pastures. In its transition to the seasonable floodable savannas, the riverbed has been eroded and expanded due to alluvial material extraction, aggravated by cutting down gallery forests. I see in this sector exploitations of the type of materials of arrest, which causes that the dynamic fluvial of the river changes. Se producen erosiones en unos sectores donde hace la verma el río, se producen eh, colmataciones que no deberían producirse en el río. The fourth ecosystem is experiencing fast land use changes, from extensive cattle ranching to agricultural activities, such as oil palm tree and rice crops, which irrigation and draining systems affect vast wetlands. Over the last decades, floods during the rainy season have dramatically increased causing damages to infrastructure and crops. While in the dry season, when water is most needed, it is scarcer than before. Ese río echó una crecida y le pegó la, la esbarrancada, la carretera, tumbó la banca y todo, que es donde están construyendo ahorita. In addition, the river channel has been sedimented, affecting navigation and farming. Por el, como por el mismo temor de que ya no es seguro sembrar en esas, en esas zonas porque el río hoy está aquí, mañana está más allá. Today, many questions arise about land use change and its impacts. Will there be more disastrous floods followed by droughts? What will be the costs and who will be most affected? Can we move towards sustainable land use and climate smart agriculture? Reducing the risk of disasters, adapting to climate change, contributing to climate change mitigation, ensuring food security and maintaining or even enhancing watershed ecosystem services and biodiversity? Yo me pregunto, y eso me motiva a seguir adelante, ¿qué forma de vida quiero dejar? para los bisnietos de mis bisnietos. Me estoy proyectando seis generaciones. Adelante. ¿Cómo estará el planeta Tierra en 100 años? Knowledge is needed for wise decision making about land use changes and investments. This to sustain an ecoregion of global importance. El río Cusiana para mí como persona, como Fernando Chaparro, es Vida.